When I began planning my venture around the world, my top priority was to find organizations that were supporting a good cause and I would be able to volunteer at during my stay in each country. And that's how my story with Aina Madagascar began. I started searching the web and up popped Aina's Facebook page and website and I really liked what I saw and the effort that they had put into everything and I was intrigued to learn more. And when I wrote to them, they were very responsive and very excited for me to come and visit, which in turn made me very excited to go and work with them. And here I am today. <laughs> we have decided um, to make the project in uh, Biravna, it's an isolated village far away from Antananarivo. And uh, we realized that most of the kids here, especially between the six years old to uh, 14 years old, have never been in school before since the project started here. So we decided to uh, make uh, a good background, solid background first, uh, for especially for those kids who have tough periods in the past. And we really hope that uh, in the future they can use this basic, this background to their life, to develop their community, to develop their village, to develop their area, and who knows, to develop Madagascar and why not humanity one day. It's so surreal to be able to have gone from sitting at home looking through Aina Madagascar's photo albums to actually standing in the classroom, being able to interact with all the children that are so eager to learn, and teaching them English, playing games with them at recess, uh, tasting all of the delicious Malagasy food prepared by the Aina Madagascar team, uh, sharing stories and experiences and life lessons, and the list goes on and on. It's just so incredible to work with them and to see how everything is working for them and their plan for the future and I just, I wish them all the best and I definitely plan to be back in the future. Well, the reason we uh, have chosen uh, the project like education and uh, the tourism, solidarity tourism is uh, first of all um, we realized that in Madagascar, actually, the tourism development is in the wrong way. There are a few people who get benefits from tourism, but not uh, the mass population. So in that way, we try to find an alternative to education. And that's why we really focus on the education for the kids, on creativity, uh, develop their skills, their potential, because they need that for their life and for lifetime, for their future, for the development of their village and community. At the end of a stay of its travelers, we always wish that uh, they have three things that they have at the end. First of all is uh, leisure time, um, learning and self-discovery. So we wish that uh, they have an impact as well and self-development for the travelers too. And in mutual way, their contribution helped to uh, keep growing the project and um, give the kids the opportunity to open their mind to new culture, new way of thinking, and a um, new uh, vision of the world. So we wish that the more the travelers we have, more the project uh, alive, and more. E tento que essa timusa não tenha toa o fato de ser na luz do andinda, está na na piravna, se me pôs na uam, já me iradina, vai a pit, a mim de a mim eu aqui sou isso aqui as minhas turos, a minha filha me pôs na ceia, vai a minha irmã não vai tudo a focar só a filha minha, se ele faz o que tu não tem tu tu não tu Manin lah musa izam niaga nasam nikis de niaga nasam nikis de seperti maaf naf dan niaga nasam nikis fudon yang tiada ni sama sama dia nak sekua nikis ini nombor wap di tanah tiada seni wap film ini tim tu dan jaga perikil sah saya wap seni terlebih saya ingat wap ini wap seni ini muka saya kalau kita nak fikir kalau nak kasih film. Hehehe. Aim nama tu zaman saya tak fikir tapi nanti fikir malam ni dia nanti nampak. Mereka macam ni tu jadi, kan? Misalnya cerita tu pun dia mesti ambil fufut, dia ambil fufut tu orang ni tu siapa nak faham? Nara nanti siapa tu orang ni? Nanti kita kasih tu. 
The dream began here in 2010, and with the help of the Baravana villagers, travelers, and the Aina Madagascar team's contributions, this project is coming to life, and it continues to improve and evolve with the help of people like you and future friends from all around the world. This is a chance for self-discovery, providing assistance to others, and brightening young minds for the future. And it's a positive impact on humanity. If you're looking for an unforgettable intercultural exchange experience, then Aina Madagascar is definitely the place to be. It's such a friendly and welcoming environment, and the children, they just make your heart overflow with joy. So, if you're looking for a little adventure and maybe a different outlook on life, then I highly suggest you contact Aina Madagascar and get involved with this project.